Let's learn how to use herbicides to kill cut stumps. Learn the correct concentrations of herbicides to kill cut stumps of trees and shrubs. I'm Jeff with the Backyard Birds Channel. I've been killing invasive trees and shrubs for years and want to show you how I do it. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Furthermore, you can support my channel by joining me on Patreon. As always, thanks for watching. The following invasive trees and shrubs are ones I'm eradicating on my property in Southeast South Dakota. Siberian Elm, also known as Chinese Elm, is an aggressive invasive tree. White mulberry is spread by birds and grows quickly to outcompete other plants. Tatarian honeysuckle is also spread by birds and is very invasive. European buckthorn is also spread by birds and eliminates native vegetation. Russian pea shrub is less aggressive but has spread to new areas. Note that all of these invasive plant species were introduced from Europe and Asia. There are some alternatives to using herbicides. I only use them if another method won't work. For very young seedlings, you can sometimes just pull them out. Large trees can be girdled by removing the bark from the circumference of the tree. To learn to girdle a large tree, follow the link at the top of the video. Small trees and shrubs can be chopped out of the ground. Follow the link at the top of the video to learn how to chop a shrub out of the ground. If I can't use one of these methods, I cut the stump and treat with an herbicide. There are two herbicides that I use to kill trees and shrubs. One is a product that uses the active ingredient triclopyr. The other is a product that uses the active ingredient glyphosate. Both herbicides break down relatively quickly in the soil, unlike many other herbicides. Avoid herbicides that have long-lasting residual effects. Some herbicides will kill non-target plants that are near the stumps you are treating. When purchasing herbicide, verify the contents by looking for the active ingredients. Always read and follow the label when using herbicides. Triclopyr can be purchased in an 8.8% concentration. It is sold as a brush killer at this percentage. The active ingredient to look for is triclopyr triethylamine salt. This formulation is water soluble. This concentration does not need diluting to be applied to cut stumps. Do not use formulations that are not concentrated. These are often labeled as ready to use. You can learn more about triclopyr at the National Pesticide Information Center. Find a link to it in the video description. Glyphosate is commonly known by its brand name Roundup, but you can buy other brands as the Roundup patent has expired. The active ingredient is glyphosate in the form of its isopropylamine salt. I buy it in a 41% solution, but it must be diluted to use as a stump killer. A 20% solution is necessary to kill trees and shrubs using the cut stump method. Do not use formulations that are not concentrated. They are usually labeled as ready to use. To learn more about glyphosate, visit the National Pesticide Information Center. Find a link to it in the video description. Items used for handling and applying herbicides include nitro gloves, a mask, and goggles, as well as a measuring container, a funnel, and a spray bottle. Chemical resistant spray bottles and spray nozzles are recommended. You can find links in the video description for these items. Nitro gloves are used to protect your hands. Goggles offer protection for your eyes. A mask can prevent breathing the herbicide when using a spray bottle. A container with a lip is used to measure and pour the herbicide. A funnel is used to pour the herbicide from one container to another. A spray bottle can be used to apply it to the cut stump. When pouring the herbicide, it's best to be in a location out of the wind. Safety gear includes shoes, pants, and a long sleeve shirt, as well as nitro gloves, a mask, and goggles. Protect yourself by wearing all the safety gear. 
If you plan to use the 41% glyphosate concentrate, you will need to dilute it. A 20% mixture of glyphosate is recommended for stump killing. To create a 20% solution from a 41% solution, mix one part of the 41% solution to one part water. This slide shows how to calculate the mixture. You can use loppers, a bow saw, or a chainsaw to cut with. Loppers work well for trunks with a diameter of one inch or less. A bow saw is good for trunks over one inch in diameter. You may want to use a chainsaw on trunks too big for a bow saw. Before you begin cutting and applying the herbicide, be sure you are wearing protective gear. Wear goggles and a mask for protection. Protect your hands with nitrile gloves. Knee pads are helpful when you kneel to apply the herbicide. Wear pants, a long sleeve shirt, and shoes to cover your skin. Be sure to read and follow the label of the herbicide. The herbicide can be applied with a spray bottle. Apply the herbicide immediately after cutting the stump. This method can be used most of the year, but do not use it in early spring when plants have strong upward sap flow. Late summer to fall is ideal as trees and shrubs are moving nutrients to the roots and will give the best translocation of the herbicide. Late fall is my favorite season as vegetation is dormant, temperatures are cooler, and bugs aren't active. You should avoid this method when temperatures are consistently below freezing. I hope this video helps you control invasive trees and shrubs where you live. Look in the video description for books on the control of invasive plant species. For more information on cut stumps, there is a link in the video description for cut stump herbicide treatment at the Woody Invasives website. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do you have a question? Leave a comment and I will respond. If you know someone who could learn from this video, share it with them. Hi, it's Jeff. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell to be the first to know about my new videos. Go a step further and join me on Patreon to support my effort to bring you the content that you desire. You can watch more of my videos to learn about nature.